Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to show you this product for prepping the paint. You can see here where the paint's going, or the oxidation, not the paint, the paint that's not felled yet will stay, but the oxidation, the powdery stuff you don't want to paint over, this product will take it off really good. You still gotta put some elbow grease into it, but then you're ready to paint and it's not gonna fail. So you can see here, it's looking pretty good now. Ready to paint, you can paint over, it's not gonna fail. You can see how it just bleeds right off. You still gotta scrub a little bit. There's products out there that they say you don't have to scrub, but I always end up still having to scrub, so might as well just go in with the idea that you're gonna have to scrub a bit. But it does turn out pretty good. It's ready to paint. Right here it is, Buster. It's like 20, 20, 20 something a gallon, I think, which is super cheap. Uh, here's just the before and after of our next project. And it was just a basic soft wash and roof clean. With a roof clean, I like to use one of these a uh, little bit more aggressive brushes. Not too hard, you don't want to damage the shingles, but just to knock off some of the moss for, for more immediate results. And then obviously with a roof wash, you got to do some gutter cleaning. Um, this one was pretty high, pretty steep, pretty daggone steep. But then we were off to the races to clean some trucks and that's pretty much where I'm at and I'm finishing up my week. So fleet washing, I do a two-step process and then I degrease and scrub the cabs. It shines up, this is beforehand, but it shines up that aluminum real nice. Um, if you're using a, if you're washing polished trucks, you'll need to use polished safe two-step wash. But if you don't know what two-step truck washing is, look into it. It makes things so much more easy and the results are so amazing that they'll definitely be calling you back again and again and again.